morning guys so it's half eight in the morning we have just been woken up by a flipping earthquake the whole room was shaking wasn't it like it was bad like the doors were slamming together wow i've never ever ever experienced anything like that like it was bad so we woke us both up straight away like it was shaking that much we both jumped out of bed I sort of stood there, did I like, what's going on? I just said you need to go outside. <laughs> Jordan was like, there's an earthquake, we need to go outside. So we quickly went to the door, literally left everything in the room. So we have no footage of it, but that was the last thing that we was worrying about because it was so bad. Went straight down the stairs and the people who own this hotel actually live here and they were out already outside and they just said there's an earthquake. We think it's in Lombok. So just hold tight outside and then about five minutes later, we was about to come back inside and the guy was like, oh, don't go back in yet, just wait a little bit longer. So we just came back in the room. We reckon there's gonna be more, but we just don't know. I hope not, because it, my heart sank. <laughs> I was shaking, wasn't I? You were a fan, eh? George wasn't really that bothered, but I swear, not even lying, the room was, sh this whole building was shaking. Never, I've never, ever experienced that. It's like a lorry going past your ass, but like, a million lorries at once. Scary. I just hope there's no more because that was a horrible feeling. I hope that wherever it started, the people were all right. Yeah, obviously, we hope wherever that earthquake is or wherever it started, that everybody's safe and everyone's all right because if we felt that, I can't imagine what they felt. Oh, God. So, yeah, praying for everyone. Hi guys, we just thought I'd give you a quick update on the earthquake situation. So we only had the one tremble this morning, thank God, because one was definitely enough for me. Um, I've just looked into it a little bit more now that it's further on in the day to get an idea of like, how bad it actually was, where it started. So I am going to read it off this website and it is true. So I'm going to let you in on how bad it was and where it started, hopefully, and if there's any damage or if anyone was hurt so it was a six magnitude rocketed barley on tuesday morning which is today um it's damaged the entrance to the new saduna hotel area and a few buildings no fatalities have been reported and thank god we haven't had a um tsuna tsunami tsunami I don't know how, how you say it. Tsunami. Tsunami. We did look into if we did have a warning for that, where would we need to go, what would we need to do, but apparently you get a 15 minute sight, like a siren, and you've got 15 to 20 minutes to get out of the red zone, and to be fair, we would be in the red zone because we're in Seminyak right near all the beaches and stuff. But what we would do is head to a bud or out that way because I think it, Jordan said there's no way it would go there. It would end up there. Um, so we've looked into it just in case we think it's really important that you do look into what you need to do if there is an earthquake because I didn't have a clue. I just sat upright in bed and was just shouting what the hell's happening. So yeah, if it carried on or if the sirens went off, we would have headed to a bud. Not that we would have got to a bud because we have a fat tire on the motorbike. Yep, she's flat. She's fab. So we would have actually been stuck here. So just make sure you're always prepared. You just now I will make sure I'm prepared all the time. We are now just going to fix the puncture or the I think it's the puncture on the bike, which I think it's gonna cost us about ten thousand if there's only one hole and then you know there's two twenty, thirty, so that's Fab. Why do I look so red? I'm not even red. Um, so yeah, we're going to fix the puncture and then we are going to have a look how much um, it is to go to Noosa Penida. Penida? Noosa Penida. Noosa Penida. Uh, we're going to see how much it is to go there. We might go there and spend a few days there. It's something that we've been looking into and something that we want to do before we head to Singapore. Because we were originally going to spend two months in Bali, we think we're just going to do this one month, then Singapore, then Malaysia, and then head somewhere different after that. So we're trying to fit everything in now that we wanted to do over the two months. 
but let's get the tire fixed and see where the day takes us. I don't think we've given you a view of this hotel, but I'll show you the room after. Uh, this is our outside area, the pool. And then there's like a little seating area on a foot over there. And there's a big grass area where you can sit and lay. And then this is our room. Up there we have a balcony. Just go up them stairs. And the room's so big and it only costs £6 a night for this hotel, which is amazing. And this is where we came out. We came down them stairs and sat down here when the earthquake happened. And the people that own the hotel, I think they live in this area. They were already outside, so they just calmed us down and was really, really helpful and really nice to us. We managed to find somewhere literally just on the road, motor van, panic van. Apparently it's 40k. It's been too bad, so it's too bad to do. Or in a tune. So we're going to get that done now. Our poor little baby. Flat as a pancake. There's my guy changing the tyre. There's Mary across the road, if you can see her. Can she make it across? She made it and she ran the water. Ooh. She's very fit. The wheel and exhaust is off. He's already got the engine tube off. Um, a fast boat to Nusa Panida. Did I say it right? Yeah, girl. Whoop, whoop. It's probably the first ever time. But we're going on in two days because we've booked another two days at the hotel we're at now because it was just really, really cheap. So we're going there. We've looked into loads of things to do. It looks super, super cool. So we're so excited. The price started at 550. Yeah. 550k. And make sure like we've said in the previous vlogs you need to part with them they it's actually really weird to walk away because i was literally about to walk away yeah and like you don't need to be rude and you don't need you don't need to walk away because if we had just been like oh we want to pay this much they would have so basically they like you to barter so tell them your best price and then they'll say another price and you say another price until you actually get to where you want to be so we had a price in mind i was happy to pay about 400 uh, but we actually got them down to 350 and jordan will also say how much that is now so yeah noosa panina panina yeah, yeah it was all going so well it was it? going so well i should have stopped in two days and now we're just on the beach Tank. We're just going to watch sunset now. 